This video is made possible by 343 Studios. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And we are gonna unbox this giant box that I know my cats are gonna play in. Double box. Two boxes here. As you can see what's in it, but it's huge. <laughs> So, those of you that like to do dancing on the clouds or low lying fog, we can get a little book up here. So, we have a bag full of goodies here. Fire cable, we can get a hand hub button. And a fire cord. Set this on the ground. Bigger than looked in pictures. We have a low lying fog machine. Now, my uh, voice is a little hoarse today. Um, this thing's pretty big. How big of a. Uh, you got a half gallon probably deal for your fog fluid. Put this back down inside there. I'm going to flip it. We do have some damage here on the side, probably due to shipping. Nothing big, it's just a quarter of the uh, <coughs> aluminum. I'll give you some close up of that. Just bent just a little bit. Uh, then we got these little knobs right here that you undo. Lift this up. We've got some nice foam padding in here. Look like that stays up by itself. Here's this, here's the inside of it. You put some ice in here, which we'll have to go get a bag of ice. And uh, pull these up. That's where your fog comes out of. And you've also got this here. It's all padded in there. Pat it on top, help keep a good seal. And of course you got these little screws that screw down on here. And you can stuck them down real good and that'll help keep the fog coming out of this instead of It does have a little valve here that you can open, I believe. Yep, that's the valve, and then you can see that it closes. So we got a little damage back here from shipping. Nothing major, just the, and I could probably take a little hammer and ding that back out. <clears throat> Shouldn't affect how it runs. Got a handle here on the back. This is your tank. Fits down into this little holder. And then we've got all the things back here. Now I've had to figure out what this all stands for. Uh, so that's on and off. And you got your IEC. Um, let's see for test some stuff there. I'll have to read the booklet. You got DMX in, DMX out, so you can DMX this. 
uh, timer controller, wireless controller. So you do have to have, it's got a big fan on it too. But uh, we'll put some of the uh, Chave high density fog in here. You got a fan here. You can see all the, the goodies in there. If I can get all that to focus. There you go. See all the connectors down in there. Like I said, we've got some cables here. We'll go ahead and open those up. power cord with a wireless remote. Then you get this, which this is kind of cool though. This isn't very long, but it does look like it's the same cable as DMX. But it's, uh, it's probably six, seven feet long. It's also got a, a little Spot for a magnet there, but there's no magnet on it. Sometimes they put magnets on these, but it's all aluminum. All right, guys, so I went over the instructions here. Um, instructions do kind of tell you about how to keep it clean. Um, after 40 hours of continuous use, you want to use 80% distilled water and 20% vinegar. Uh, basically, you want to put that in your tank and then run it and it will clean out any impurities. Vinegar is a very good cleaning agent when it comes to fog machines. Any fog machine, haze machine, uh, you can run distilled vinegar, which is basically 20% water and 20% vinegar, or 80% water, 20% water, or yeah, 80% water, 20% vinegar. So Walmart has distilled vinegar, and I think that's how the ratio is set up. Um, it kind of talks about this. Uh, the longer you hold the button, it will continuously give fog, uh, low line. Doesn't really say anything about putting ice in here though. That's one thing that this is supposed to be able to use is ice. If you do not put ice in this, you will get regular fog. It will not cool it and freeze it to where it stays to the ground. So, um, kind of a, uh, you know, it doesn't say anything in here about, oh, put ice in the machine. It's kind of dumb. It also doesn't describe which buttons are what on the wireless remote. It doesn't say what A, B, C, or D do. Now my haze machine has the exact same remote. So I'm assuming A and C are burst shots, like burst on, burst off, or set a timer or something. And B and D are normally, B is to turn it on for continuous and D will shut it off. So it talks about um, if you see any big damages to contact the distributor. So like I said, we've got this little one back here, but I don't think it has anything to do with um, them. I think it's UPS and the packaging wasn't all that great. Um, I mean, like I said, they could have put this in some highly, you know, good styrofoam to protect it. It was in a plastic bag with a little itty bitty piece of junk styrofoam on top of it. So they did everything else looks pretty good. It's nice and clean and smooth. I will be putting a uh, logo on this so that uh, it is branded. So if it ever gets left somewhere. Uh, the, the outpour on the, uh, this is all metal. This is metal. Uh, sides are nice painted. It's kind of rough here in the black. I mean, it doesn't give you what channel, DMX channels. Um, it's got a warranty thing here on the back. It says, please fill in warranty card information, uh, company name, address, contact, telephone number, purchase date, repair record. Like it wants you to keep track of your repairs or something. Like it also has uh, it's a stage fog machine. It should say low lying fog machine. And there's a 900 watt, a 1200 watt, a 1500 watt. I think those are fog machines. 2000, 2500 and 3000. They're supposed to check what unit this goes to. Um, tells you to read instructions before use. I mean, it really just kind of tells you to keep it horizontal, not putting it, you know, vertical. Uh, but it doesn't say anything about using ice, dry ice, which it's, you can use regular household ice uh, in this. It does have the drain deal on the side, which I can tell is cheaply made because it doesn't, you know, you gotta turn it one way. High quality fog liquid. Uh, so you want to use a good high quality fog liquid. It says bad quality fog liquid will damage the fog machine. So you want to make sure you're using some good stuff. I use the Chave high density uh, fog stuff. It really works. We've used it in Rockville. 
fog machines. We've used it in my 1500 watt vertical fog machines, and we're going to use it in this. So, oh, guys, right here. Anybody know what those are for? On a dip. And then it's got those numbers there. 2.5 gallon. I mean, it says DMX in, DMX out, so you control it. This here is the controller that where this hooks up to. So we're going to try to see if you have to have this plugged in or not. If you do not, I mean, that's great. IEC obviously goes right in here. So I don't have it pushed in all the way. But we're going to get some fog fluid in it and see how it looks. All right, guys. Well, we are back. We did go ahead and go get some ice. I have put some fluid in the reservoir here. It's about half full. We're going to go ahead and loosen these up. So I just have a regular bag of ice here. This is the jumbo bag from Walmart. It has been in my deep freeze getting extra, extra cold. I did figure out you can't get this to stay open. You just got to push back on it a little bit more. I'm going to rip a hole in here, and I'm only going to put a little bit on each side of the uh, grates here. I'm not going to put a whole lot in there. Get you up a little closer. I think what you want to do, a little bit more like that maybe. is you want to eventually fill this completely full if you're going to be running it overnight but all right well we've got some ice in here and this has been warming for probably about five minutes it says that the green light will turn green but there's no green light on that thing so we're just going to try to set it off with this and see what happens so we're going to hit a see what that does well that turned it on it's the pump so we're going to get the pump to pump the fluid into the um, deal first. So, as you have seen, when you're running ceiling fans and the door was open, you know, a lot of the draft will have an effect. I think I'm going to start using possibly dry ice with this, uh, which if you do use dry ice with this, I'm pretty sure you can. I've seen other people do it. I mean, ice is ice. Dry ice is going to give it a lot colder because dry ice is extremely cold. Um, but if you do use it, you have to wear gloves because it will give you, it will burn your skin instantly. Um, so you don't want to get frostbitten within three seconds. So very cold. I think that's what I will start using. Um, I got a full bag of ice in there and, uh, I'm kind of let it sit there and chill for a little bit. Uh, I am, if you're in a bigger room and the temperatures are only like in the sixties, you know, it's a little cooler and there's you know I think it'll do great I don't think you'll have such a problem uh, but uh, it, it did look pretty cool I like it uh, I definitely think it would be better with dry ice again the remote works just fine uh, I don't know if you have to have that plugged in for it to work let's try that real quick all right so I just unplugged the little on that bag right there that little so you do not have to have that remote plugged in to activate it. So that is cool. Very, very cool. So the wireless is built in. There you can kind of see it low lying. It's doing its job right now and staying low to the floor. Else I don't know what to think. But uh, yeah, I think it looks very cool.
do have a Halloween party. Halloween party. Halloween wedding I'm going to be doing this year. So this is going to go perfect with that. We can do kind of a spooky uh, little kind of throwback on that. So that'll be cool. Uh, cats are kind of trying to breathe. But again, you do not. I'm just going to give it a little burst. As you can see, the wind coming from the door is causing it to not want to spread out. There it goes. You can see it low lying, real close to the ground. Still coming out one little burst. That's all it took with one little burst. As you can see, it is low lying. Uh, so yeah, looks pretty cool. Uh oh, Austin wants in.